Hi, I'm Izzy and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. In today's video, I have my June sewing plans. So if you've watched my channel or if you follow me for a while, you know that the entire month of May, I've been putting out or publishing a short video for my outfit of the day with a goal of really looking at my me made clothes, evaluating whether or not they're my style, my colors, if the fit is good, and also identifying any gaps in my closet. Now, the weather has not been great so far in the month of May, so I've not really been able to wear any of my more spring summer tops, but thank goodness, because I really don't have that many of them. So the focus on June is going to be, or in June, is going to be for me to make, I think I have three, three summer tops for myself, one pair of pants, and something for my daughter. So basically five projects in the month of June, which I think is a little ambitious because we've now opened our summer house and I will be spending my weekends, my June weekends over there. And I can't sew over there. I don't have any machines. And anyways, I don't have the setup for it. So I'll need to get these five garments done during the week after work. And I don't really have any vacation days planned for June. So we'll see how I get on. But basically, these are my plans for the month of June. All right, let's begin with my plan for Marianne because that is my number one priority. I definitely want to get this done. I made myself two patina blouses this month. Yes, earlier in May. And my daughter really, really liked the pattern. So I went through my stash and picked up a fabric I think she will love. And I'm going to make her a patina blouse. So this is a... Tencel twill. Is it a tencel twill? I think it's a tencel twill. <laughs> yes, it is. From Core Fabrics. No, it's not. I'm lying. It's from Blackbird Fabric. The color is fig. So it's a nice purple, pinkish purple. I have two yards of this, which should be more than enough for a patina blouse for her. I'm planning on making her an extra small, graded to a small at the hips. And yeah, it should fit her perfectly. I made her the saltwater slip dress by Friday Pattern Company last year. And I did an extra small, graded to a small, and it fit her perfectly. So I'll use the exact same pattern size for her patina. And I think this is going to look really nice with the pink suit that I made her last month, so in April. And it'll be perfect for work. So that's going to be number one priority. Number two will be pants for me. And I decided to revisit a pants pattern I haven't made in over a year now. The last pair I made was probably this time last year. Yeah, I think it was last spring. So the Arden Pants by Helen's Closet. I've made those pants three times now. The last time I made them, they the fit wasn't quite right. Mind you, the fabric wasn't quite right for the, fab, for the pattern. But I think I'm going to make a few tweaks to the pattern and then make myself a pair in this mid-weight tensile twill that I also got from Blackbird Fabric in this, oh, I can't remember what color they called this. I think it was wine, maybe. So it's a gorgeous burgundy, very rich wine color. It's amazing. I have two and a half yards, so more than enough to make the Arden pants in this. And I think this would also be work appropriate. I found out earlier this month that we may be going back in office two days a week starting in September. Um, but I do have some in-office days planned over the summer. So I need pants because it's cold in the office in the summer with the air conditioning. 
I think these will be really, really nice. And I have a few tops that would work well with this, but some of my other plans will also work really, really well with this. All right, so the first top I'm going to make for myself is going to be the, oh my goodness, my memory, oh yes, the Seychelles top by Itch to Stitch. I've made that pattern twice. I made a green one a couple of years ago, and then I made a beautiful navy polka dot version last year. I absolutely love that pattern. I like the V-neck. I love the little detail, the pleats at the shoulder, which makes them a little bit poofy, but not crazy poofy. And yeah, it just fits me really, really well. I'm going to make this in this gorgeous viscose fabric that I got from Beyond the Pink Door last fall, I want to say. And look at the border at the bottom. So I'm going to cut my Seychelles top so that the hem is at the bottom. So this is like embroidery. Like how gorgeous is this? So the hem of my shirt is basically going to be this beautiful border. So yeah, I have a yard and a half, if I remember correctly, of this. And I think I'll be able to get a Seychelles top out of this. Like I'll make the short sleeves. So I think it'll definitely work. And this is really, really soft viscose fabric. This is going to be an amazing top. I can wear with navy pants, white pants, my new red Luna pants. Yeah, I think this is going to be a really good one. Next is going to be another Remy Raglan by Sohow7. I made myself a Remy Raglan top in, oh my goodness, was it April or May? Anyways, a little while ago with my Think Pink 14 fabric, the double gauze, the teal double, ga double gauze. Now, I really want to make a Remy in a floatier, drapier, viscose fabric. So I am going to use this. Now, I bought this from Beyond the Pink Door on a whim a few weeks ago. I wasn't planning on buying fabric, but then I went on their website to look at something else, and this I, this just had to go into my cart. I love this fabric. The pink is so nice, and they're not stark white polka dots, but they're white enough. I mean, my white should be a bright white, but I think this will be super nice as a Remy. I'm going to do the same thing I did with my teal version and do the keyhole with the button. I really like that neckline. And I think I'm going to try sizing down one size on the Remy. I can't remember exactly which size I made with the teal fabric, but it's there's a lot of ease. So I'm going to go down one size at least, and I might even taper it down like take some out from the width a little bit from like the waist down. But yeah, it this should make an amazing Remy Raglan. And I'm super excited about trying it out with this. And last but certainly not least will be a Melody Dolmen blouse by Love Notions in this gorgeous cotton lawn that I shared during one of my Friday Sews videos. Um, this was from Blackbird Fabric. I got this, oh, I'd say about a month ago, maybe. So it has been washed. And yeah, I'm really, really excited about making a Melody Dolman with this. I love that pattern. And this one, I will be, aware, be able to wear with those Arden pants in the purple with my pink Luna pants, uh, with my black linen Lunas. I mean, this is going to be so, so practical. And it's, uh, you know, I think it's going to be a work appropriate top. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one. And this might be the second project I tackle because I can't wait to get my hands on this one. Now, I said these five projects were ambitious because I don't know how much sewing time I'm going to get this month, but you might have noticed that all five patterns I've made before. 
So it should be fairly quick because I know how to make them. Most of them are very, very straightforward sews. I know they fit me. I'll need to make some minor adjustments to the pants pattern. But other than that, I'm pretty confident I can, yeah, sew those up. Yeah, after work in the evenings. And at least get my daughter's blouse, that Melody Dolman, and the Arden pants made in June, if not all five. And there you go. Those are my sewing plans for the month of June. I would love to know which one you are most interested in seeing made up. Please leave that in the comments below. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please give the video a like on your way out if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again, and I will see you soon.